Hello lovely. So lesson five, we're going for the adjective patterns. Do you remember in basic, I started to tell you about the patterns, but I didn't really go into them. Okay, because it was just very long and I said, well, in intermediate, we're going to, you know, have a closer look at that. This is it. Okay, so the adjective patterns now is an order of 10 and not an order of 8 anymore. So this is the order. One, opinion. Two, size. Three, physical quality. Four, shape. Five, age. Six, color. Seven, or origin. Means where from. Uh, eight material, nine type, and ten qualifier. What qualifies it? What it is? So here's a little example. Number one. One strange to green, eight metallic material. So look at the example. It's a strange green metallic material. So I use number one, number six, and number eight. Okay, follow it. Remember, it's in order. So this is very important. Number two, it's a long, narrow plastic brush. It's a long, narrow plastic brush. So long for, because long is a shape. Narrow, eight, which is the material. Uh, ten, plastic, which is the qualifier, what it is. So. It's a long, narrow plastic brush, 4, 8, and 10. See, it's following the order. And of course, there are more examples here, so you can have a look. But for an exercise for you to practice, what it would be really nice is for you to make five phrases as well, just like these ones, but putting uh, all of the vocabulary and all of the words and adjectives in order. Okay, try to do that, try to use that. And then next exercise, you can number the alternatives by putting them in order. So for example, a rectangular cream modern bathroom, a modern cream rectangular bathroom, a cream modern rectangular bathroom, a rectangular cream uh, modern bathroom. I mean, you know, I want you to number them and I want you to put them in order. So there are about... 25, 26 ex exercises for you to do, uh, so you can practice putting all of them in order, okay? So it's done for you, there's new vocabulary here as well. Of course, the ones you don't know what it is, check it out, you know, use your phone wisely. That's that's why good, your phones are good for you, you can use them well uh, to help you. And just put them in order, and then in the bottom as well, put like so many images with so many different type of um, adjectives. That is just for you to learn and to practice so you know there's more vocabulary there for you to uh, next lesson we're going for lesson six with the uh, comparative and comparative and superlative adjectives which we've also studied in basic but now we're going more into it okay so see you soon